Hi, I'm Lo, the Senior DevRel at HiGraph, and I'm going to show you how to create top-level remote fields in your HiGraph project. Top-level remote fields are a federation capability that lets you simplify your tech stack with the ability to fetch and query remote sources through a single HiGraph API layer, while allowing you to maintain that data within a remote or external system. There are cases like this where you want to federate multiple APIs into one, such as pulling information from an e-commerce platform like Shopify or BigCommerce. This tutorial will cover how to connect BigCommerce as a remote source and adding top-level remote fields to get product information for a storefront that sells bikes. So let's get into it. If we head over to our HiGraph project, there is now a system model called Query. This is where we will be adding in our top level remote fields. But the first thing we need to do is add BigCommerce as a remote source. So if we click on Add under Remote, remote Sources, we can give our remote source a name. We'll call it BigCommerce REST. Now, GraphQL APIs offer the best flexibility and experience. However, not all APIs are GraphQL. In this case, BigCommerce has a REST API. But the great thing about remote sources in HiGraph is that it also converts REST-based APIs into GraphQL. So we are going to select the type REST, and now we need to include our base URL and our headers. We've got our base URL that we collected from the documentation in BigCommerce. Now we need to add our API key or authentication token from BigCommerce. So we're going to add in a key. We'll call that XAuth token. And we will paste our API key in the value field. The next step is to add in our custom type definitions. This allows us to define the structure of the REST API so that GraphQL can use it. Um, you can get an SDL from raw JSON request in a REST API. Sometimes you're able to do that within the browser or sometimes the external system that you're connecting has an API playground where you can send calls and get raw JSON. A quick tip, once you receive raw JSON data, you can head over to a JSON to GraphQL auto generator and paste that JSON in and get GraphQL type definitions. I have done this for us earlier, so I'm going to paste in the custom type definitions that I generated from JSON output from BigCommerce. And now we have our type definitions. You'll see that we have a type bike data. That's for pulling in a product. And then we have a bike data collection. That's for pulling in all of our products. Now that we've added all that, we click add and our remote source will be added. Excellent. Now that we have our remote source, we're ready to add top level remote fields. If we go back into our query model, we can now add REST fields. So we're going to add a new REST field and we're going to call that products. This will allow us to generate all the static paths that we need to create a front end presentation such as using Next.js. You'll see that our BigCommerce remote source is already selected. We have a get method, and then we have a return type of JSON. Well, we don't wanna just return JSON, we wanna turn something specific. And what we want here is the bike data collection. So if we click on JSON, a drop down menu will appear and we select bike data collection. We also want to add some input arguments. So we can, let's say we want to only pull four products for a feature content section on our homepage. Well, we would make an input type here called int for integer and we'll use count for our API ID. And this would allow us to pull down four products 
for the home page or another content section as needed. You can also do things such as use pagination options for larger product collections, but for this demo, we're gonna keep it simple. So the last thing we need to do for our products top level remote field is add in the rest of the request path. And you'll see here that we now have a limit argument with count. So this means that we'll be able to pull in products based on the number of products we want or select for us to pull in. We'll click add and we will add that top level remote field. Once we have all our products to build the paths, we also need to get all the details about each individual product. We can pull those down in another top level field. So we're going to add a new rest field and we will call that product and we will change our return type to bike data. Now we want to add an input argument here because we want the ability to pull in products based on their product ID that matches in BigCommerce. So we're going to add an int for integer input type and we are going to make our API ID product ID. We'll make this field required, and then we will paste in our path. And now we will have two top-level remote fields ready to use. So using top-level remote fields doesn't mean we can't use model-level fields. Let's say that we want our store to have a category page and we want to pull a list of categorized products from BigCommerce. We can do that with a remote source field within the category model. So if we go to our bike category model, you'll see that we already have some fields. We have a name, slug, description, and the bike category ID. We are going to add a new rest field and we're going to call that products And we are going to change the return type to bike data collection. And then we will add our path. And click add. We now have a model level field that will allow us to pass a category ID to big commerce. So this means that we can now set up content based in groups that we specify. So in this tutorial, we covered how to add a remote source and how to add top level remote fields. Combining top level and model level remote fields can help you distribute content across multiple systems and presentations. And most importantly, it can help you do that without duplication. Because essentially what we have done is pulled in data from BigCommerce and we didn't have to copy any of that content into our HighGraph project. So now any changes made to content in BigCommerce will be reflected on your front end. If we head over quickly to our API playground in our HighGraph project, we can take a look at a query for our top level remotes and categories. So if we paste in our query, we get, we are going to query our top level remote sources, which include products and individual products by their ID and also the bike categories that we created in the bike category model. So if we run this query, we will get a list of all the products that are in our store in BigCommerce, as well as the product with the ID 114 this is the name of our bike, Propane Hugene 2023, with the ID 114. And this is that second top level remote field that we added that allowed us to be able to query by ID number. We also now have bike categories, and we have the bike category ID, we have the name, which is Trail Bikes, and we have all of the products that have been added to this group. So we've used queries to build our front end and we have a bike shop. 
and you see we have a section for feature products. This can be used again. That's why we did the int count and we wanted to pull in the most popular bikes that we want to feature on the home page. We also have bikes by category. So you can see here that we have a whole category for trail bikes and it lists the products that are included within that category. Top level remote fields are fantastic because they help you simplify your tech stack by having all of your front end applications query data from one universal high graph API. And it allows you to unify that by managing all of your APIs in one place. This is also a super low code approach. Um, high graph eliminates the need to write and maintain middleware code and over your overall front end performance can improve because you're querying content from a single API. And that combined with high graphs caching capabilities will allow you for higher performance distribution of content. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions about this tutorial or anything HiGraph related, hop over to slack.highgraph.com to post your question in our community Slack and we'll be happy to help you.